We are going to create a duet. We're going to teach you the first part. Then I'm going to set you off on a quick creative time. This film looks in brief at how peer observation can be used as a key driver for reducing in-school variation. At South Dartmoor Community College, it's central to its ISV project. All our teachers, as in any school, will go through a performance management observation where their line manager will watch them. But we've introduced a system where every member of staff has to go and observe three different teachers, different subjects through the year and uh, carry out an observation where they go as the learner rather than the judge. It allows them to see different repertoire strategies. Sometimes it's good just to see children in a different context. Uh, and also it creates a dialogue. It, you know, the whole of the conversation in the school is about how uh, children are learning. It's creating a learning culture in the school. Helen, your job is to save him. Today, religious studies subject leader Richard Jenkins is observing a drama lesson. He's using your knees, using your hips. Really, the only limitation is my imagination now. I can go away and I can really look at my schemes of work, what I intend to teach, for example, in the sixth form in the future, and try to somehow either duplicate what I'm seeing here, or definitely element, bring elements of what I'm seeing here into my own practice for the future. At Eggers School, peer observation has also played an important part in raising levels of achievement. Four C's, then the two F's, then the two C's. So, here we go. Longest haired people are going first. Science teacher James Wordsworth is observing Nathan Smith's Year 9 music lesson. Last time, now move to F. F again, move back to C. C again. And um, I've done a, a peer observation sheet, so I've just jotted down things that I thought were really high quality in the lesson, and then I've taken three learning outcomes that I think I would like to take back into my own lesson. Yeah. And it, it led to, oh. I think, me teaching set ability groups in science. So it was yeah. nice to come and see a mixed ability yeah, and see yeah. how well you cope with, with the huge range that's obviously there. Um, I liked that there were different instruments being played as well, and I like that when I've been in before and seen kids who are obviously really talented in an area being allowed yeah. to shine at that, and yeah. others who are less... At the moment we're working on chords, so they're all kind of doing keyboard work, but those who learn like the saxophone and that, they, they will eventually, later on in the topic, get their saxophones out and play the melody on their saxophone. A one, two, a one... Every department has strengths here, and every teacher does something differently to someone else, and I think we are quite relaxed now about people going in and out of each other's lessons and taking the time to... Um, enjoy it and you know I'll, I'll welcome anyone that wants to come in it doesn't have to be pre-arranged it's, yeah. it's just quite open door policy isn't it and yeah, just come in have a look so. see what's going on and take something away